The average house fire burns at a temperature of about 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't hot enough to destroy most metals and earthly made substances. And if an item is well placed and small in size, its chances of survival increase drastically. Let's take a look at the burning point of a couple of materials. Glass burns at around 20, 2,600 to 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than double the regular temperature of house fires or forest fires. Let's see what we can find out about aluminum. Aluminum melts at around 1,220 degrees. Some alloys burn a little bit hotter, uh, around 1,900 degrees. Now let's take a look at what the National Institute of Fire Safety and Safety Training say what will not generally burn in a house fire. Jewelry, because it's metal. Silver coins, because they're metal. Filing cabinets, steel cabinets, steel filing cabinets are built to last so that businesses won't have to deal with the loss of important files after building fires. Many people keep personal documents and filing cabinets, which are often kept in home, in home offices. And it says here that uh, mil, me, silver burns around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go down to barbecue grills, cookware, some appliances, stone table, fire safes. Um, let's see, it says here about tools. Because the melting point of carbon steel is between 2,600 and 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And the melting point of stainless steel is roughly 2,700 degrees. So you're not going to see your barbecues melt. You're not going to see your ovens and your uh, most of your appliances. They're not going to melt. They'll be burned, they'll be damaged, but they're not going to melt. It's common to find an appliance or two that remains intact. There's chaos around there, but many appliances these days are made with stainless steel, which gives them a sleek and design durability. So a lot of people have these things, but the metal, the frame itself of these things is not going to melt. So let's take a peek at what happened here. The entire things just disappear. Here's the build, here's this neighborhood before. And I want you to look, you guys, there's absolutely nothing left. You don't see any part of any of the structures anywhere. This isn't possible. There's something else going on here. For the blue flashes folks that's what we saw in the skies those are the lasers being used that they're pulsing the electromagnetic fields of plasmic energy uh, that they excite with the winds in order to direct the ready field see the blue these are caused by these laser beams and we'll get into the whole thing about lasers and when they're created here in a little bit but look at the blue folks that's what many many comments and i saw it as well we saw blue sparks or flashes in the sky and that's what they were, is these little blue beams of laser energy right there. See it? That's what we saw. So this is proof pretty positive that this was a laser-directed, directed energy weapons used on the uh, Northern Cal fires here. 
Um, uh, this is in the coffee district here, which we're talking about, that got attacked. Um, notice they're completely obliterated. All right, so this is uh, Santa Rosa in the area. This is pictures uh, similar to the ones I took the other day in the coffee district area. Again, you can see the ridge fires coming up. Take a look at this, folks. See the stain, a stone block wall? It's all gone, folks. The heat had to be enough to melt the wall. Columns were melted. Wrought iron steel melted. No glass. 2,600 degrees to melt glass. No glass. How about metal uh, tires? We saw the rims, and there's no rubber at all on any of the tires. The rubbers were completely gone. Well, here it says in sciencing, if you put a rubber tire in a furnace, even a hot one, it won't melt. The tires are vulcanized, which means they're through a process that combines the rubber molecules with carbon and other elements to prevent them from oxidizing or burning. It's why hot rodders can burn rubber without setting anything on fire. And the fires are said to merge. They're bringing people down, firemen from um, Idaho, Washington, Oregon. They're planning it to merge and continue on. This is a picture from down the road. There's a Hilton Hotel, or what was the Hilton Hotel, and the Fountain Grove Inn right below it, which was. But look at the steel. Look at the steel melted and twisted, folks. That means the temperatures was above 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. It wasn't a firestorm because it happened right away. This was a USA something wildfires. And this, is, this is a new trend we're seeing where the, the entire building just disappears. There's absolutely nothing left, and that's what we're seeing again here. And this is becoming a growing trend, guys. There's no explanation for it. I want to show you a couple of things here that should really be visible to the people with eyes to see. Here's the build. Here's this neighborhood before. And I want you to look, you guys. There's absolutely nothing left. You don't see any part of any of the structures anywhere. This isn't possible. There's something else going on here something else going on here the entire entire building everything everything's gone but the trees one washing machine but where are the granite countertops where are the glass doors where's any of the metal framing where's the bricks where's any of the stuff that held these houses together and why isn't there any rubble but the tree is still standing and the, and the grasses are still here but the cars that were left have no glass they're all smashed to pieces. Look at this, the garbage cans. Come on, guys, all the garbage cans are here. But look at the cars, look at the condition of these vehicles. Look at this, this is all smashed and bent. And look at the twigs on the ground. These things should have caught on fire. How come there's, how come there's pine needles and stuff all in the path? Why isn't there anything standing whatsoever but the trees? This is supposed to be a forest fire. How come the forest didn't catch on fire? Not even the tree branches. Look at there's just twigs and stuff everywhere. Why did the twigs not burn? But every single solitary piece of two by four that built these houses is isn't standing is gone. It's all disappeared. There's no aluminum siding. There's no bricks. There's nothing. 